I'm Monique with Open Gate Quilts. Today I'm going to show you how to use my Fit to Be Yeast ruler. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Fit to Be Geese ruler. With my Fit to Be Geese ruler you can trim flying geese sizes 2 by 3 and a half to 3 and a half by 6 and a half. With all my rulers I always include a free pattern and this is the free pattern that comes with the Fit to Be Geese ruler. To make my flying geese, what you're going to need is you're going to need two different sizes of squares. The first one you're going to cut diagonally twice, and the second one you cut diagonally once. All the sizes that you need to cut are included in your instructions. To put your flying geese together, you're going to start and line up the one's triangle lined up the bottom of the other, and sew your quarter inch seam. Press it out. Add your second piece by lining it up again on the bottom and press it out. Once you get this piece, then I'm going to show you how to trim up your flying geese. You're going to take your flying geese and your ruler and you're going to line up the rooftop of your ruler along the seam of your flying geese and trim. Your quarter inch is already built in so you don't need to worry about that. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to rotate your piece around and you're going to line up the size of your piece that you're cutting along the bottom. We are cutting two by three and a half so I'm going to line up my two by three and a half inch line along the bottom and I'm also going to make sure that center line goes through where my seams cross. Untrim. Rotate the ruler. On the third cut, I'm going to sandwich the two by three and a half in red through in my piece, and I'm going to make sure that red line goes through where my seams cross. One thing to remember is that you don't want to be at the top or the bottom of your ruler. You want to be in the middle of the ruler. So you're going to make sure that lines up here and sandwich it between the two by three and a half in red. Trim. Rotate one last time and then the last cuts the easy one because all you have to do is put it in your little box here and trim and notice there's very little waste and you get perfect points in your perfect quarter inch.